What's going on everybody, Resale Rabbit here. So we got more pallets to go through. So we're gonna go through one of those today. I'm thinking today's gonna be an Amazon pallet. If you missed it, Friday. I'm filming all of these over the course of a couple of days. So I don't remember what day. These are, whatever the last video was. You saw all this Home Depot stuff that we went through. It was a pallet similar to these. Uh, the video before that was an eBay sales video, but the pallet video before that was all of this stuff. And the video before that was this pallet. Now today, we're gonna go through an Amazon high count pallet. Let's see what they look like. So I've got three over here. There's one, two, and three. And then I've got two more over here. The pallets are much taller, but it's about the same amount of stuff right here and right here. I paid, I wanna say 800 each, could have been 850 each, I don't remember. There is well over a thousand items in each pallet. I actually, me and Tim, an employee of mine, if you're new here, already kind of dug through the top of these and even pulled a few things out. We found like this goalie thing. That's usually a pretty good brand that will go on eBay. This is a, an adult product, a men's adult product. If you catch my drift, it was sealed. We opened it up because there was no markings on the box to indicate what it is. It'll probably still end up on eBay because it's sealed inside in this bag. So it is a new product. We found a couple of these uh, ultrasonic nebulizers. And then this is an autographed book here, right there. Uh, no solds, but one is listed for 50. So we'll probably get that on eBay. And then a handful of other items. In fact, in my eBay solds, this item was in, I wanna say this palette. And this item, I just got an offer for 35 bucks. I'll probably accept that. That was also in this palette. Go ahead and accept that right now. Um, but like I said, we just kind of dug through the top what we could reach. We pulled a few items out for eBay, nothing crazy. So I'm trying to figure out which one would be best to go through. I'd like to go through probably one of these three. Um, although these could be fun too. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Which one do you think would be the most fun? Why don't we go through one of these? Uh, this one, we pulled a couple of eBay items out of, but it's also kind of buried back here. You know what? Screw it. Let's go through this one. Oh, number 10. This is on my list of the ones that I bought. Uh, so I paid 800 bucks for this. We up maybe 850. We already pulled a couple of items out. And as we were digging, some of it got pushed over there. So this isn't exactly how it'll come or how it came. But if you want to see how it looked when it came, you'll have to check out the video uh, showing the whole truckload. So let me clear some of this stuff out of the way and uh, make a, bring some boxes over here so I can start digging. All right, let's get started. First, we got this box here, which has probably six of these. Probably gonna be a dollar each, uh, but we'll go mid value because you never know. Those might be like four or five bucks in, in the store. Next, we've got, what are these? Uh, Elegant Park Christmas stockings. So Christmas stockings. I am going to put these Let's see, I wonder if I can get it all the way up there. There are Christmas pallets up there. Let me show you. All right, let's, let me switch hands here. Let me see if I can get this up there. Nope. Well, it's over there somewhere now. So next, books. We're gonna have a lot of books in here, I think. And you know, these are worth looking up on eBay. I'm not gonna do it in this video because they all have an Amazon FN SKU covering them um it's just gonna be a huge pain to do it but they're all worth looking up even stuff like this if they were sold on amazon they very well might have some value um on ebay worst case a lot of these like this is a religious book those do really well in the sale i feel like a lot of these would sell well i just need to figure out a way to display them in the warehouse sale uh, let's see words not swords mutant message down under I've never heard of any of these books. We've got another Christmas thing. Um, it doesn't say what it is. It says Christmas card, and this is definitely not a Christmas card. I'm gonna guess this is for ironing. 
Um, they make like mats for ironing clothes. It could also be like a memory foam cushiony floor mat. But it's Christmas. That one was... I had the height, but I was way off. Um, let's see, we've got another book here. The Church in the Roman Empire. And the back is kind of ripped, but might still sell. What do we have here? Pemberton, Defender of Vicksburg. Don't know who or what that is. We have a very valuable piece of styrofoam. Phone case. Phone cases we usually get a couple bucks for, especially with their current phones. Like this is for an iPhone 13. Looks like it's got not a pop socket, but something that would work similarly. Uh, so we'll put that there. Piece of foam. What is this? Uh, military tactical hook and loop camouflage. It's going to hold something. Yeah, so we'll probably buy that for three or four bucks. Uh, we get another book. This one is brand new, like sealed in plastic. Uh, in a Free State, a novel. And then here we've got some mysterious white boxes. Four pack kids U shape. Doesn't say what it is. So let's open it up and find out what it is. Possibly for like brushing a baby's teeth or something. It's several different colors. Anybody know what those are? Uh, looks like we've got a whole bunch of them. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. Oh, here's another one. Uh, can't reach, can't reach. There we go, 10. I'm just gonna stack these up separately until we figure out what they are. This is why I don't like buying Amazon pallets because a lot of the stuff is packaged like this uh, because well, that's fine for online sale. You don't need fancy packaging. However, the problem is I don't sell these online. A lot of it's you know retail and we need fancy packaging so people can see what the item is. Help sell the item. Right, now I can get in here a little bit better. So this is a heavy box. I'm not gonna read what it is. I'm just gonna open it. And it is Skinny Girl Cherry Juice Muscle Recovery. I always said Skinny Girl was like coffee creamers or syrups. Uh, let's see, we've got eight of them in here. Probably get like two bucks a piece for them. Is there a date on them somewhere? <laughs> Don't see. Oh, it's printed really best by 630 of 22. So they are just out of date. I'm sure they will sell. Uh, let's go there with those. Next, we've got another box, probably the same thing. Let's find out. Same thing. So we've got 16 of these now. Uh, let's see, we've got Southern Cornbread Muffin Mix. There are a handful of these on here. Let's look for the date. 62 of 22, so also just out of date, but they'll still sell. Cornbread is always good. Here, Coffee Mate Liquid Variety Pack, 180 counts. So it's probably the little coffee creamers that you get in restaurants. Yes, that is what it is. We've got two of these and for some reason, a little thing of sugar. I am gonna put these, and it looks like, like I said, a variety pack. There are a whole bunch of different ones. I'm gonna put these for $10 there. And the sugars, I don't know, maybe we'll just put them in the break room. All right, we got more books. The Most Brilliant Thoughts of All Time. It's a book about my YouTube channel. We've got a movie, Beowulf. I don't know, never heard of it. Um, I'm gonna set this aside because this might be one of those weird ones that's worth a decent amount on eBay. We've got Atlanta in the war and the war. So the war in the great lost city of Atlanta. I'm not gonna read this one out loud, but this one might be entertaining. 
might hang on to this and read it. The Best American Sports Writing. It's a book about Ray Barone, clearly. You got a CD. Uh, we'll just set that aside with the DVD. Uh, another one of those kids' things, whatever those are. The Men Who Stare at Goats. What else? We got screen glass for a Samsung. It doesn't say, it just says Samsung is cut off. But screen glass for the phone, that's a dollar. Um, here is a graphic novel, DC. Sometimes these are worth eBaying. We'll set that aside. Uh, let's see, Choctaws and Missionaries in Mississippi, 1818 to 1918. That is a very specific book. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, this is fancy. Got a fancy knife here, a cleaver. So this, very sharp. Oh, you couldn't even see that part of the box. Uh, very sharp, it cut pretty far down into that box. Hopefully I don't cut myself. Now this, uh, we're probably not gonna put in the sale because someone's gonna hurt themselves. Might be me, might be a customer, you never know. So I'm gonna set this aside and we will sell it elsewhere. Uh, let's see, more books here. We got balloons, they've got something printed on them. Nursing Grad, 2022 dollar. Uh, early North American Global Perspective. That sounds like an expensive book. Uh, more Civil War curiosities. You know, war type stuff is usually has decent value. Here's Civil War Supply Catalog. Let me stack these a little bit. There we go. We've got more of this stuff. A whole bunch of them. This stuff is in layers, which is why there's a lot of light items kind of put together here. Screen glass for a Galaxy Note 10. Two of those. Can you hear that train? I'm inside of a building and it's still really loud. Uh, Life in the Confederate Army. What are these? Double deck. Something for girls and boys. Looks like some sort of organizers. You can see they've got, they're designed for little things. I'm gonna sell a whole bag for 10 bucks. More books. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Uh, let's see, Blue Bottle Mystery. Sky in the Deep. I've still never heard of any of these. Uh, another one of these kids color things. The Soldier's Pen. Screen glass for, again, Samsung just cut off. We got two of those. From Chaos to Calm. That would be our warehouse sales. Here we've got more of that skinny girl stuff. We've got uh, an adult product. We sell adult products to in bulk. We get a buyer for those. Unless it's worthwhile on eBay, and that probably isn't. Balloons, screen glass. This is kind of a boring palette so far. Uh, guide to flowers. What is this? Uh, tea infuser. Tea infuser. I'll we'll put that on a mid value box. Here we've got Heal Earth 18 in 1 Hemp Alum Pure Castle Soap. I'm gonna put that in a $10 day box. This feels like a helmet. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Got a nice little carrying bag here. Man, they really overpackaged this thing. Come on, it's thinking about untying. There we go. So here we've got, looks like a helmet, black kid's helmet, and there are knee pads or elbow pads, or maybe both in here. So we'll probably go $10 a day on that. Throw that away. Air cap. So GMC caps for your wheels. This is, I don't know what this is. Doesn't say what this is. It's a thing. 
the thing that we're gonna put up in Dollar Day. Uh, let's see, Dodge City on DVD. Probably a pretty short run. That might be worth something on eBay. Empty bag, empty packaging. That's right, I don't have a garbage over here. All right, we got three more cornbreads. Case for AirPods. That'll be mid-value day. What is this? It's kind of crushed. Uh, develop a more resistant immune system. So some sort of medicine. Uh, is there a date on it? It is in date until December of next year. I'm going to quick look that up because there are a bunch of them in here. See if it's an eBay item or warehouse sale. It is going for... Let's see, all over the board, $7 to $26. Let's look at solds. I'm not holding my breath on this. Uh, single one for 10 plus four shipping, two of them for 26, two of them for 36, one for 12. I think we're gonna eBay these. So let's go over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and that might be all of them, nine of them. So if we get $14.99 each on eBay, free shipping, we'll walk away with probably about eight bucks each. So that's 70, 76, I can't do math. Eight times nine, what is eight times nine? 72, that's $72. All right, now we've got car angle, car angle eyes. I don't know what these are. We're gonna assume eBay. Uh, let's see, we've got Foreigner on DVD. Music DVDs are usually pretty good. Screen glass for an unknown Samsung phone. All right, more of these kids color things. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, that's something else, 22 of them. If we can get 10 bucks each on eBay, that'd be nice. I have no idea what those go for. All right, here we've got Westwood Blue something box paper bag set. So whatever that is, a uh, paper bag for that, and a gift box. I'm wondering if that's like a fancy store or something and people buy this for a gift. We're gonna try eBay on it. Oh, another one of these kids multi-colored things. All right, we've got Lincoln Park Remembered. Great band. That's not what it's actually about. But, uh, the Secret Language of the Soul, we've got the story of Edgar so Sautel, something like that. Uh, bird, B-U-R-D-E. It's a fancy feeling box. What is this? A uh, really fancy planner for 2022. We are in the tail end of 2022. Uh, habit trackers and whatnot. I'm going to say, because it is really fancy, someone will pay a dollar for it. We use it for the last couple months of the year. Uh, my dollar box is full. So, let's grab another one. Continuing, we get another pack of these organizers. It's 10 bucks. Epsom salt. We got a bunch of these, so let's go through those. We got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that box is full.
10. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. I know this video is riveting. 19, 20, 22, and 23 of these. I don't know what Epsom salt goes for. I don't think it's super expensive. But here is a power tool, parts and accessories for a rotary tool. We're gonna put that on eBay, probably. God, War, and Providence, Moral Minority. Cornbread. Uh, screen Protector. Uh, crochet Book. What is this? Craftsmanship. Embed into Essentials. Cascu. Uh, made for iPhone. Sounds like it's just a really fancy iPhone case. We'll check eBay, but I'm not going to hold my breath on that. Embracing the grind. Dagny or a love feast. Sister Freaks. The Fortunes of Permanence. That sounds just so entertaining. A uh, cell phone case, another one of those kids multicolor things. Uh, let's see, a 2022 planner. God's armor bearer. Uh, let's see, this is a 2022 calendar. I'm not even gonna bother trying with that. Here's a musical toy. Probably get 10 to 20 bucks for this. Ah, here's a big box. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Approximate inflated size. I think this is an air mattress. Let's see. No, it's a pool. Large inflatable rectangular family pool. Let's see if there's a retail box inside of here. <clears throat> I hope there is. And there is not. <clears throat> but you can see... It's brand new. You're not folding it back like, back like this after you've inflated it. I don't know, 25, 30 bucks, something like that. Set it right up here. All right, what's next? Born to be sold, DVD. Cornbread. A glass screen protector for an iPad. Whoa, this bag of balloons is open. So I'm just gonna leave that right there for now. We've got tea, jujube tea. Put that in the mid value box. What is this? I don't know what this is. Expandable sleeving. This is like braided sleeving for cords. Uh, about 10 bucks for that. Lifespan sip. Oh, acoustic guitar strings. Oh, uh, we'll go eBay on those. This is a mystery item. Let's see what's in it. A DVD. Greyhound. Tom Hanks. Why have I never heard of that? And why does it look really low budget? This might be a, a knockoff DVD. Because it looks extremely cheap. I don't think Tom Hanks is doing low-budget movies. Let's open it up. Because it really doesn't look right. Let's see what the inside looks like. Um, I'm probably going to... Yeah, this looks very um, poorly printed. Looks like something that somebody made at home. So, 
I might take this home and watch it though, because I've never heard of Tom Hanks. Maybe he's a bus driver because he's called Greyhound. Oh, let's see what else we've got. Halloween. It says Happy Halloween. It doesn't say what it is. You got this on it and stuff. Styrofoam on top. It is a coffee mug. Halloween party. Um, I don't know. Probably mid value. Three, four bucks we'll get for it. The next warehouse sale is going to be featuring Halloween stuff. What is this? 10 piece wax collection carving scraping tool set. Let's see what it is. It's a nice little tin. And that's not very helpful. It looks like just little jars. And then whatever this is. I don't know. The dark gray packaging material is a kind of EVA foam. It's non-toxic, but it may have a smell, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Maybe it has some value. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the eBay pile. When I say I'm sending it to eBay, that doesn't mean we're automatically gonna list it on eBay. Looks like we get three of those. That just means I'm gonna hand it off to Tim and he's gonna see if it's worth listing on eBay. And if it is, he's going to list it on eBay. We've got some sort of makeup here. This is Boy Brow Grooming Pomade. Glossier? I don't know. We will try eBay with that. Here, we've got a phone case. We've got, what is in this box? Three packs, stainless, something or other. I hate when it's the title's cut off and you can't read it. This is the weirdest butter knife I have ever seen. Uh, there are three of them in here. I don't know, mid value day. Here we've got soap, Dr. Tuna soap. I wonder how that smells. Um, it's good till 8 of 2023. Since it was sold as a single unit, that makes me think it's one of those fancy expensive soaps. So we're gonna try it on eBay. Uh, let's see, we've got another adult item here. Uh, let's see, the Royal Wedding book. Like I said, all books we're gonna look up. And the phone case. We've got a desk calendar for 2022. I'll probably toss that. Uh, oh, wow, a 2021 calendar. This, let's see, that's another calendar here, 2022. This is a vinyl decal for something. See if I can get it out of the bag. The Empire doesn't care about your stick figure family. I don't know how well you'll be able to see. Oh yeah, you can see that pretty well. To the back of a car. I don't know, put that in mid-value day. Someone will buy that. Silicone mold for, uh, just as 18 cavity silicone baking mold. Looks like for tiny waffles. I would absolutely eat tiny waffles. All right, what else we got here? This is, a uh, little grinder jar? Yeah, like a pepper grinder. That'll be like a mid-value item. We've got a phone case that has whoever these people are. Uh, we've got a little tiny package here that's sealed. And in it is Thai water spinach seeds. I, I don't know, a dollar maybe? Uh, let's see, we've got Pro Women. I too am Pro Women. Uh, the expiration date, it is expired. So we're not gonna try it on eBay. Screen glass for things. <clears throat> let's see, Grey's Anatomy, the complete 17th season, factory sealed. That's probably gonna be eBay. We've got a phone, like, wallet type thing. All right, this is, I'll come back to that. 
What is this? Food equipment steel work ring. I don't know, maybe some replacement part for something. We'll try eBay. Here we've got some little cups. I'm not sure what these are for. Um, this is the ballard. Oh, what was the thing that I was going back to? Well, this isn't it, but smartwatch. Like the face surround things. Uh, essentials of health policy and law. So textbooks usually, within the, if they're within the last five years, are decent. And this one, oh, my hands are too dusty to turn the pages, is 2013. So this is probably not going to be worth a whole lot, but you never know. Here we got Black & Decker, Complete Guide to Flooring. We've got football gift boxes, a whole pack of them. We got a very fancy looking phone case. Oh, uh, we have over here. This is going to be another one of those planners, I'm assuming. Yep, another one of those fancy planners. We got Healing Out Loud, and this book is pretty crushed, so I doubt that'll be worth something, but you never know. Three more of these cornbread mixes. What is this? There's a couple of them down here. Um, some sort of granola bars made with chia sesame and amaranth seeds. I swear they're making up words every time they come up with something. As soon as it's something that's common, it's suddenly no longer healthy. And then they'll have some made up sounding thing that, oh, you've never heard of it. So it's definitely gonna be healthy. This thing has like no weight to it. It feels like there's nothing in it, like a little piece of styrofoam or something. Um, let's see what the date is. Six of 22. Uh, white chocolate. You know what? I'm going to try one. We're going to try one of these on camera. It is just past the expiration date. I'm sure it's fine. Let's see. This does not look all that appealing. Tastes like a rice cake. So it's not the worst thing in the world. I suppose crowy white rice bars kind of gives it away. Not a fan. But this seems like the type of hippy dippy thing that someone pays 10 bucks for. We got another box of them here. And another one here. It seriously tastes like I'm eating styrofoam. And kind of like almost melts in your mouth like styrofoam would. Another pack of these. That is the wrong box. What is this? Premium mattress protector. We'll try eBay for that. It's not worth it on eBay. It'll be an easy 10 bucks in the sale. Yes, I know I'm eating it. It's because I don't have a garbage over here and don't want to throw it on the floor. That's what brings mice in. All right. Shea Moisture. What we'll do is we'll open these and sell these individually by the bottle. Mm. Finally done. All right. Honey Mustard Pretzels. Same thing. We'll open this and sell these by the bag. We'll probably get, I don't know. Two, three bucks each. They are just out of date. I was at the grocery store yesterday. And a bag like this of popcorn. It was flavored popcorn. It was uh, cinnamon toast crunch popcorn. It was like five bucks. Who was paying that? The bag was about this size. So it's like one cent. I'm gonna regret eating that thing, aren't I? All right, here we've got some sort of plastic knife. I don't know, it doesn't say what it's for. It's a plastic knife, it looks like a toy. It doesn't feel very sharp. I tested a knife once. Oh, this doesn't feel very sharp, but I did that and turns out it was sharp. But in my defense, I was like 14. Uh, we'll sell that cheap. Probably like three to five bucks. Sunsets in the National Parks 2022. 
Do any of our national parks have giraffes? Does it say on there what national park? The, like the giraffes, the trees, this does not look like they should. Although I suppose they don't specifically say which nation of the national parks there are. Uh, yep. Serengeti National Park, Tanzania. Did I pronounce that right? Tanzania? Tanzania? Something like that. We've got Maine, California, Zimbabwe, Washington, Alberta, Utah, Nepal, Washington, California, Italy, and it just says Carolina. Great Smoky Mountains, Carolina. Uh, doesn't say if it's north, south, or east Carolina, but it's one of the Carolinas. But this is an old calendar. Junk. Oh, we got another one of these. eBay. Uh, what else do we have? More pro women. We're all pro women here. eBay. Oh, wait. These are expired, aren't they? Yeah. It's not eBay. That's going to be like $3 day. Here, we've got stickers. I wonder if these are officially licensed Supreme stickers. Especially the uh, first one that I see. You think that's officially licensed? I'm going to say probably not. But I bet someone pays five bucks for this. What else we got in here? A thing. Uh... For cord management. I'm gonna like mid value day for that. And my boxes are filling up, so I'm gonna grab a couple more here. All right, let's keep going. We got a big box here. This is model beige green. It's a table and chair set cover, according to the outside of the box. Let's see what it looks like. I'm not going to try taking this. Did it say beige green? Uh, beige green. Well, all I see is beige. But, I don't know. Get a couple bucks for it. I know I threw it. It's fabric. It's not going to break. Uh, let's see. We've got what used to be an air filter. I'm just going to chuck that. And then I'll throw it away. Uh, Dr. Scholl's foot insole things. Uh, here we've got Avery address labels, 10 labels per sheet. Try to get 10 bucks. Oh, you know what? We're going to try eBay with that. Avery brand name. Even though it doesn't make sense to buy Avery because the off brand of that would probably be like four bucks online. That one might be like 20 online. Another one of these for eBay. What is this? Colonial Voices, Hear Them Speak. This is a book that I would not expect to be online. And it was used as how it was sold originally. Here we got spatulas with Epsom salt. So one of those must have been leaking. Uh, spatulas, 10 bucks. We've got El Salvador flag. I don't know how many El Salvadorians we have around here who would be interested in that, but you never know. Another one of those helmet sets. Two more of the helmet sets. What else? We got Aquifer. We've got Pro Women. Uh, pro Women still expired. Again, wrong box. And the Aquifer is... I don't see a date on it. Oh, there we go. Nine of 23, so this is in date. Um, although I don't expect that to be worth anything on eBay. Uh, educated AF. You can see it better on that side. Educated as Frank. My buddy Frank, he's really well educated. Uh, let's see, three Hannah, or the Hannah. I don't know who Hannah is, but she is the Hannah. Two Peggy from John Edward, Christmas 1940. That's kind of neat. So an old book. Uh, what is this? 3D multi-scale. Oh, this is like a headband. Uh, dog faces. You can see all the things that it does, and it's dog faces. I'd probably go for like three bucks. Uh, let's see, another one of these tool sets. eBay. We've got an audio book. No is not enough. 
resisting Trump's shock politics. So please don't leave political comments in here. Uh, my opinion is if it's politically related with current politics, it mentions Trump, Biden, Hillary, Bernie, even go back to Obama, it's probably gonna be worth selling because somebody is going to wanna buy stuff that relates to the politicians that they love and the politicians that they hate. So that sounded to me like it was an anti-Trump thing. So you're gonna have a Trump supporter buying it so they can hear what the opposition is saying. You're gonna have an anti-Trump person buying it because they wanna hear things that they agree with. That's why I've sold a lot of Trump books too for decent money. Like his stuff is going for a ton of money because the Trump people want to hear things that they like, that they agree with. And the anti-Trump people want to hear what he's talking about. All right, we've got boxing stuff. Headgear for boxing. Headgear for boxing. If you want to get all political and start leaving your, your crazy theories and opinions in the comments, I'm going to need you to not do that. Instead, come to the warehouse here. Two of you can duke it out with these boxing helmets or face masks or whatever. There might be gloves in there. I'm not sure. What else do we have? This box is a Longmire Complete Seal. Ooh, I bet this has some value on eBay. It's factory sealed too. Longmire, the Complete Series. I'm actually gonna look this up uh, because some of these things can be really expensive and being that this is brand new, Never mind, it's 25 bucks. But still, 25 bucks on eBay is 25 bucks on eBay. So we'll put that in the eBay pile. What do we have here? Face mask. Uh, kind of a mid value item. More cornbread. Did I open myself, open the door for a lot of annoying comments by talking about anything political? I don't know. Maybe I should edit that out. I'm not going to. We know I don't edit things here. Oh, uh, what is this? Some sort of protein powder. Plant fusion inspire for women. Rich chocolate and the expiration date is covered by the label. That is against Amazon's rules. 6 of 2022. So we're going to do $10 a day because I bet that's probably 30 bucks uh, new. If it were in date. This is... Cowhide cow pillow covers. Very poor quality print pillowcases that look like cowhide. The, the true meaning of smeck day? Yeah, I don't know. This was very difficult for me to read, uh, but it says smeck day, whatever that means. And then we get a screen protector. What else we got? We've got a phone case with a kitty with a tomato on his head. That looks like a tomato. Uh, for the iPhone 11, it's one of the wallet style. And then just a plain phone case for your phone that has 87 cameras on it. My phone has one camera, like a normal person. This was an iPhone 7. I found it in the garbage. Not quite. It was someone recycled it. They discarded it. And then it ended up in my pocket. And that is how you save money on your phone. Someone commented, more of these, one of my videos, saying that I make enough money where I don't need to be cheap and I can spend it. I think it was related to a hotel room. I make enough money where I don't need to be cheap, but I'm keeping that money because I'm cheap, which is why I have a discarded phone in my pocket, and that is what I will use until I can no longer use it. Super Speed USB Hub. This has a whole bunch of USB ports. It's powered, and we are going to put this in the eBay box. I'm going to tell how to figure out how to get it all back neatly in the box. All right, let's cut some more of this off. So I can get to this more easily. What is this? This looks fancy. Maybe not. Oh, it's a tire cover for your Jeep, for like the spare tire, implying that you have pets. I don't know if this is licensed or not. I'm just gonna go $10 a day for that. 
Uh, let's see, what is this book? Civil War, Ghosts of Virginia. A lot of Civil War books. We've got a calendar, 2021, 16 month calendar. Simplicity, inspirations for a simpler life. Next, we've got, I don't know what this is. This one is a, a, probably a return. Usually these packaging with the green, that's how Amazon packs their returns up. Let's see, Fitz Jeep Interior Gladiator something or other. It's a thing for a Jeep and it does appear to be broken. It is some sort of bezel for something and this one is broken. So we are going to probably just toss that. What do we have here? Escape bracelets. That's if you need to escape somewhere, I can't imagine a bracelet is gonna help you much, but let's open it up and find out. This is, it's a bracelet. So if you need to escape, if you get kidnapped and you need to escape, you better hope you have this. What are you gonna do with this? I don't know, but it's in a fancy box, we'll go Probably three to five bucks for it. Here we've got a rolled paper cutting device. Oh, this is kind of neat. For like wrapping paper. It's a little cutter, so it's just, you keep your paper rolled up and you just go down the thing and cut it. But because it does have a blade on it, there's a blade guard, someone's unlikely to hurt themselves, but I'm gonna set that aside because I don't want a customer digging through a box to hurt themselves. We've got here uh, another one of those like Westwood box and bag sets. So we have five, six, seven of those, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of those multicolored kids things. And that did not stay stacked up. I wish I knew what those were so I could call them something other than multicolored kids things. We've got medical anthropology in paperback. My stack of books is starting to get a little tippy. Uh, abandoning Vietnam and Confeder the Confederate reader, how the South saw the war. We've got a screen protector for something big. Model three. I don't know, any Tesla Model 3? Probably not. Probably like a MacBook or something like that. Kid Corporate, Kid Cooperation. I thought it was Kid Corporation. I was expecting like a big corporation run by kids. That would be fun. Uh, phone, fancy industrial phone case. Gift boxes. 80s party hanging swirls. So if you can have an 80s party. There's your hanging swirls. We've got a calendar here. What? Okay, this is a 2022 calendar. We have two months left. Somebody is gonna buy this in the sale. Yeah. That's the pictures. I feel like this is still able to mention on YouTube. I'm gonna put that, I bet someone will pay five bucks for that calendar. Uh, let's see, we've got cold brew coffee for, I uh, don't think it's for a Keurig. Looks like coffee pods for something. Hot, insert pod, or cold, peel and pour and add water. I don't know, someone will pay, what's the date on it? July, someone will pay a few bucks for that. We've got balloons, we've got a phone case, we've got another 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 phone case, we've got another, oh no, that's glass. Alright, so that can all go up here. We've got another phone case, we've got another phone case, we've got another. I don't know what that pattern is. Uh, let's see, screen glass, screen glass. We got another phone case, and another phone case, and another phone case, and I don't know what this is. 24 piece charger. Uh, let's see, 24 piece charger, and that names a bunch of colors. What kind of charger? 
Oh, I think you put these on the end of your charger to identify them or maybe protect them. Um, I'm gonna put this in the sale, but I know someone's gonna open this box and spill them all out in the box during the sale and they'll probably end up in the garbage. We've got little caps, they say Audi on the end. I don't know if you can really see that, but for your little air thing on your tires. We've got Pro Women. We've got, that did not make it in the box. Pro Women. That also did not make it in the box. All right. What else do we have? We've got Healing, Grief, and Finding People. And a phone case. I should probably have a box just for phone cases for this sale. Let's see. Jackets XL. Yellow jackets. Some CD. Uh, three bucks. What is this? Kirby vacuum bags. I'm actually gonna hang out of these because I have a Kirby. Even though I don't have carpet anymore. I don't know why I keep my Kirby, but I'm not getting rid of it. Uh, researching the law. Finding what you need when you need it. What else do we have here? Fast string. Some sort of string. And I can't read that. Something that's got a 3M adhesive. Oh, this might be a sign for something. I think it's a sign, like men's room or something like that. And it's really packed well in here. It is acrylic. Dog in yard, keep gate closed. Uh, a nice acrylic, it, it's hard to read, but there's a film over it you can pull off. It's probably nice and clear. 3M to attach it. I think someone pays five bucks for that. 2022 death calendar. Another one of these things that looks like a replacement part for something. Oh, look, we got another one. What else do we have? Hey, we got another one. We've got iPhone 11. I think this is just the glass and glass for something else. And home. I don't know what that is. Uh, it is cabinet handles for your cabinets and the screws that hold them are for some reason blue. They kind of look like they were painted blue and that makes no sense. Uh, 10 bucks, I will pay 10 bucks for that. All right, phone case, phone case. What is this? Calendar. That's literally the entire description, just calendar. So let's see what the calendar is for. Maybe it's another funny calendar. Uh, get out of here. Let's see, 18 month calendar. Oh, this one goes to, well, January of 23. I said 23. Illustrated Romantic Escapes. Those are kind of neat. I bet someone might pay a dollar for that and maybe pull one of those up and frame it or something. Uh, Walter Dean Myers, The Glory Field. Uh, your Pregnancy, Week by Week. Uh, GMC, oh, just an emblem, I guess. Uh, probably not licensed, so we're not going to put it on eBay. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, some sort of headlights, probably bulbs. I don't know. Car engine start button, decorative cover. Oh, this might be fun. Oh, this is neat. A buddy of mine has one of these in his car. It's Iron Man. Okay, I'll pull it out of here so you can see it. So it's for cars that have, you know, the, the button where you push to start. It's got Iron Man, and then you flip it up and then push the button. Make more sense if that was spring loaded, so it doesn't, so it goes back down. Uh, and let's get the little adhesive to hold it down. It's metal; it feels nice. I might have to put that in my truck. My truck is a business-owned truck, so it's all of us drive it. At least all of us that are on the insurance screen protector. Um, so they might get a kick out of it. Uh, fancy metal phone case for, this has to be for an older phone. iPhone 6 and 6S. I could have used that a year ago when that was my phone before it stopped working. I had to get this discarded phone. 
Uh, let's see, we've got a, I think this is for like AirPods, a little case for them. Uh, what do we have here? This fell off of something earlier and I'm curious because it's a little tiny box. Maybe it's another escape bracelet. Uh, let's see. Keys to my awesome Jeep. Can you read that? It's got the F word on it. Keys to Frank's awesome Jeep. Um, I'm gonna sit that here because that's probably gonna get stolen if we put that in the sale. Uh, baby on board sticker. That's fun. What else do we have? A phone mount, magnetic phone mount. And USB charger. Looks like it's for an iPhone or iPad and has the USB and the plug and two plugs for some reason. Uh, so we'll pay a few bucks for that. Uh, what do we have here? Toro pop-up sprinkler. Uh, that'll go on eBay most likely. Another phone case. Uh, I think these are for AirTags, yeah. So you can put an air tag on your keychain. We've got screen glass. I think I really should have a separate box just for phone cases and phone screens. Oh, this is a stock car champions former library book. A greasy box. ABS sensor. So something car related. Um, it, I mean, it looks unused. I feel like this would get, like, you'd obviously be able to tell if it was on a car for the last 15 years. So we'll check eBay for that. We've got a core puller. Danco core puller. We'll check eBay for that. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, it looks like, the sticker's kind of covering it, but it looks like it's a case for your phone, so you can put a control, make it like a controller. Uh, here's a bigger box. Happy Farm. Uh, Hand-eye coordination for active thinking. It's a toy. Ten bucks. Uh, we've got uh, another one of these things. Let's put that in the dollar box. we got another little tiny package here that has... I think it's a necklace. It's got a fake bullet and some string. I'm assuming that's some sort of necklace. Or maybe the bullet opens and you can store stuff in it. Uh, let's see. Emmanuel Law Outlines, Corporations and Other Business Entities. Not as fun looking as the Children's Corporation or the Kids Corporation, but it is a textbook. Let's see how old it is. Uh, it says Harvard Law School on it. Uh, 2013. You never know. Maybe it'll be 20 bucks on eBay. Maybe it'll be something that goes in the sale and doesn't sell. We've got a screen glass. We've got another three pack of those weird butter knives. We've got another phone case, and 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 another phone case, and... A giant ruler you put on your wall to figure out how tall your children are. And another phone case, and another phone case, and another phone case, and I don't know what this is. Drop proof creative mobile phone buckle. Look how fancy this little package is. It's a gold Ziploc bag. Um, looks like it just sticks to your phone so you have the little thing to hang on to. I don't like those little pop sockets. They just make the phone difficult to put in and out of my pocket. Stickers. I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to be on the sticker, but it's stickers. Someone will buy those stickers. Uh, let's see. Sleeping Freshman Never Lie, a novel. Um, this is another one of those carving scraping things that I said maybe I should try on eBay, but I don't know what it is. We've got a phone case that is very clearly meant to look like an Otterbox. And 
then another decal. This is the same one, the Star Wars one. What is this? Ooh, this might be one of those fancy pop-up cards. It looks like a greeting card. So let's open it up. It's a little bent up. All right, so here's the card. Let's open it up. Eh, look at that. Isn't that fancy? Probably shouldn't have shown this on the video. I could send this to my other half, but she watches all of my videos like an amazing supportive person who shouldn't be watching them because her gifts could be on here. It's got the envelope too. Uh, let's see, how do I get this back in here? I bet some of these are like 10 bucks, I think, normally. So some of them might pay like five bucks for it. It's a little bent up, but if you put it under a book for like a month, it'll flatten when you take it out from under that book four years from now when you finally remember it's there because you needed that book for something. And you go, oh yeah, I was wondering where that thing went. Uh, we got a phone mount. Southern exposure, modern Japanese literature. <laughs> you thought I was talking about the South. Uh, the South only exists in the US. Southern parts of other countries don't count as South. I don't know what these are. Magnetic screwdrivers, so little keychain screwdrivers. Kind of crafty. Uh, what's this? This looks fancy. Cadillac. Um, every, every one are all artworks. Uh, I think it's just like sticker badges for the, every one are all our artworks. But this is the Cadillac of sticker badges. Uh, screen glass. Let's say we're about halfway through this palette. How long has this video clip been going on? An hour. This is gonna be a long video. All right. More of these cases, ten dollar day. Uh, let's see, George. Er Martin, Clash of Kings. Oh, that might be worth something on eBay. I don't know, what is this? It looks kind of neat. It's a phone case. I am very confused at what this print is supposed to be. Sneakers. It was first broadcast on the National Education... I have no clue what this decal is supposed to represent. But it's a phone case. Huh. Guess what? You're never gonna believe it. I'm not even looking at something. I'm just gonna grab it here at random. And oh, no phone cases. Uh, band for an Apple Watch. And water soluble pencils. The book. There's the phone case. All right, I think I need to Take a break and reset, and I think I might go through these two boxes that have a lot of phone cases in, and just a separate box for phone cases. I think that'll be easier to market when people just dig through one box looking for a case for their phone. So, I'm gonna take a break. All right, so it's the next day. Separated phone cases. So now, I'm just gonna start pulling phone cases out. Let me see if I can get you a better angle in here as I dig. All right. So, phone cases. Right now, we're just looking for phone cases and glass, stuff like that. This looks like a pretty fancy one. I'm thinking this is probably a phone case. Uh, yeah, something for Samsung, we'll just assume it's a phone case. Another one that's made to look like an otter box. Uh, let's see, I'll pull some of the balloons and stuff out. This is one that I feel like would sell for more, but I'm just gonna throw it in with the phone cases. be it for this layer over here. Let's slide this box over and we'll get the other side. Here's a Donald Duck phone case.
Pokemon phone case. Probably not licensed. Let's see what this is. It's sealed up on the ends. This might be a phone case, but I'm not sure. I don't know what this is. F-150 in very large emblems. So that is not a phone case. But this is that might be the bulk of them. All right. Oh, one more. Now that gives us space to dig a little bit more. All right, so we've got this box, which is Green Convenience Halloween Indoor Treat. So something Halloween related. And this is, I don't know what this is. It's got lights in here. You can kind of see. So I can figure out how to open it. It's hats. Witch hats. A whole bunch of them. And there are lights that go with them. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to market these. But we'll find a way. This is... All right, I'm just going to stuff these back in the box. And I think what we'll do is probably sell them individually on Dollar Day. We'll put that in the Dollar Day box. We've got the Chosen, the Templars, the Life and Times of General China, I have a feeling this is about someone whose name is China. Yeah, something about Kenya. Mao Mao and the end of an empire in Kenya. Is his name China or does it have something to do with China? I don't know. We've got a sky beyond the storm, which was originally sold at Target. Someone bought it at Target, sent it to Amazon, and now it's going to be sold in our warehouse sale, unless it's worth something on eBay. We've got unique eats and eateries of Orlando. Uh, we got a door lock. This is one of those that you can put in like a hotel room door or something. Keep people from coming in. Uh, let's see, an adult product. Balloons. This is car window shade. Another phone case. Uh, let's see, U.S. Air Force. Uh, bonsai tree burlap U.S. Air Force garden bags. This is a phone case for a very weird shape. A very slim phone. Here's another one's carving, scraping, tool set things. 
Case Fair Oster, whatever that means. Oh, this one has a barcode so I can look it up. So let's do just that. eBay, search, scan, and it is uh, listed for 37. Let's see what they're actually selling for though. No solds. So this one, I'm, I'm still gonna put it with the books and I'm sure it'll get looked up again, but um, it doesn't make sense to put it with the other stuff. Here we've got Dural Long Lasting Eyebrow Cream. So date on it, expires 10-4 of 2023. So that's going to be eBay. Here we've got The Politics of Piracy, a book. Spark Your Baby's Natural Curia. Oh, <laughs> I'm reading the back. So Modern Baby. We've got another keychain for an air tag. It's starting to get re very redundant here. I'm debating if I want to keep going through this on video. We've got a case for an Apple Watch. Uh, some books, Style Me Vintage and Pillar of Sand. Uh, this is an adult product. Let's see, phone accessories. What is this? Greyhound DVD, another one of those, probably the same counterfeit one. Tom Clancy, The Bear and the Dragon. Finally, something I've heard of. I haven't heard of that book, but I've heard of Tom Clancy. Now we've got a tablet case and some silicone thing. A 3D pen mat. So this, I will try it on eBay. You never know that type of stuff. What else do we have? Hey, look, more phone cases. Here is Ultra Cushion Gel Liner. Don't know what this is for. It almost looks in the picture like this person is putting it on their foot. And it's like a padded gel cushion thing. Uh, let's see. Splints and supports, 17 to 19 inch. It doesn't really say what this is. Uh, we'll go like middle value. Here we've got 500 Judaica. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. We've got, oh, what do you know? A phone case. Here is Arizona and the Grand Canyon Travel Guide. Don't know what this is. Seems like it opens somehow. Possibly for like mounting a phone on the wall. It's got things to hang it on the wall. I'm not quite sure. I can't even get it to open. We'll go dollar day. Uh, another core puller. On the eBay pile. Polaroid film. Is it open? It does not appear to be open. Uh, 50 pack of Polaroid film. That's probably an easy 20 bucks on eBay. A mount for something. For what? I don't know. I'll take it out of the bag here so you can see it better. Oh, and I dropped it. It's got like a weird claw thing. I don't know, maybe it goes on a microphone stand or something. We'll go middle value. Here we've got, I don't know. It's like, it says gin, Jew, two pieces among, and then it cuts off. So let's find out. Looks like Among Us little zipper cases for something. Uh, we've got a mount for a phone. More screen protectors. I could go and smash my phone screen every day for the next 10 years I've got enough screen protectors. Book on CD, factory sealed. Uh, what else? Phone mount, two phone cases. This is a little box and considering the size, it's got some weight to it. Magic Pocket Staff Portable Martial Arts. 
Interesting. I don't know what this is. Whoa! That was a thing that just happened. That, um, I don't know how you're supposed to wind it back up either. That was interesting. It just launched right out of my hands. I really don't know how you're supposed to collapse this back up. Twisted, maybe? I don't know. I'm glad that wasn't pointing at my face when I, when I did that. That would have hurt. All right. Now I might need to go change my pants after that. Phone case. Uh, phone case. Phone case. And this is uh, another three pack of those butter knives. Gift boxes, I think. What else we got? 2022 calendar. Another one of those calendars. This is, I think it's more Chevrolet caps for your air, stems, valve stems, and a phone case. More calendars, more of the, those calendars. It's uh, calendars of things shaped like hot dogs. Uh, we've got like freeze dried, vacuum sealed face masks. Another adult product. This is, well, let's start with this door lock, uh, band for the watch. And I don't know what this is. A rear bumper protector guard for BMW. I might have something on eBay. Probably not, but maybe. We got a Happy Farm puzzle game thing. Ten more vacuum bags that will probably go on eBay. We've got tempered glass screen protector for a steam deck. I'm gonna put that with the phone stuff. Uh, the capture of the USS Pueblo phone case. What is this? I can't read the text is all faded off so let's just cut it open the sticker is different that the box is the same size as those like shaper things but the box is a little bit different this is something electronic it's an ac adapter for something i don't know i'm thinking we'll probably go ebay with it what else we got here a reflective like head band thing. This is touch dimmable LED. Let's crack this one open. Let's see what we might find in here. Oh, a little LED light hooks up to USB and a whole bunch of small ones. There's a couple more here. So these will all hook up to a USB and you've got a little, little light We'll put those in the mid-value box, sell them individually. Here we've got tire valve caps. Don't know what they're for. I'm not going to open that little bag. Uh, refill for hair dust. Oh, refill for a lint roller. I didn't realize they made refills for those. Here we've got another one of those carving, shaping tool things. Some calendars. The Big Grid, and this is 2022. Desk calendar for 2021. This is another AC adapter. This one you can actually read what it is. And it just says for notebook PC, but it's got the voltages and stuff. I'm sure that'll be like 10 or 15 bucks on eBay. Phone case. 
Phone case for that flip smartphone. Phone case. Phone case. And a wedding for Julia. Tire valve stem cover things. A natural guide to bringing up your baby. Really tiny gloves. Girls, boys, winter gloves. They've got a picture of a power button, so they have touch screen gloves. Uh, phone case, and I think this is just a sticker. But there's other stuff in here. Baby on board, and then whatever that picture is. I'm not sure, it's probably for like a TV show or a video game or something like that. <clears throat> glass for your phone, four pack of glass for your phone. Uh, more of those U-shaped kids colored things. This is something with a Mylar bag. I'm not sure. Let's open it up and find out. Um, oh, these are for cannabis. So you can put your whatever in it. Connected Cannabis Company. Resealable zipper. These aren't like funny though. I've had some that were like gummy worms and they had like the, uh, like just the empty package for them. But it had like the logo was made to look like the, I think Trolley Gummy Worms brand. But it wasn't gummy worm. Well, it probably would be for gummy worms, but not the ones you get at the dollar store. Here we've got Serve Safe Massage. Pain-free arthritis. I'm getting nervous about that book stack. It's teetering. Nancy Drew and the Clue Crew. Uh, phone case. And then some other little phone and watch accessories. This is another phone case to the flip phone. 2022 Honda Civic Key Fob Cover. It's in a really fancy looking box. There you go, there's the box. Let's see how this looks. If I can get it open. And it's in a little plastic. So if you want to be extra, there's your key fob. Unfortunately, I don't have a Honda Civic, but I also have zero interest in having a bright red key fob. Let's see, gone fishing stickers. See if there's anything interesting in here. Cooking from the hip with a phone case in it. That's not a good bookmark. All right, let's see what we got for interesting stuff in here. One of those calendars, cocktail book, a key fob for a Cadillac. Or I should say a silicone cover for a key fob for a Cadillac. Uh, that's another one of those gift box and bag sets we have here. This is something for a Honda Sia or HRV. Another key fob cover for a Honda Civic. This is carburetor for a string trimmer, that's eBay. So realistically, I'm probably not gonna dig much more out of here. Here's another one of those AC adapters. What I'm probably going to do, I'll dig through this and just pull anything out that's noteworthy, and then I'll cut this box down and then use the forklift to put this on a stack of pallets and just let the customers dig through it because I don't think it's really worth my time to sort any more of this stuff. You know, I'll pull out some books and look them up and I'll dig to see if there's anything like this is gonna be one of those shaping things. This is another one of those. You know, so I can dig for stuff like that. That's going on eBay. What is this for blemishes? And then I think I will just put this box right out. 
there's a lot of stuff still in here and a lot of stuff i mean we got books we got those things we got boxes that are sorted by price the adult stuff was going in a box up here but then i needed the box and there was only a couple little things and then the other adult things are kind of buried on the ebay stuff that's ebay this is phone cases and stuff epsom salt so i think this is where i'm going to leave you because I doubt we're gonna find anything else too interesting in here. Kinda of went through it. We're seeing a lot of the same stuff now. An air filter for a dirt bike. That could go on eBay, maybe. Don't know what these even are. I can't read whatever language that is. Feels like bars of soap. Oh, there we go. Mother of Pearl soap sponge. That part was in English. Aqua tabs, whatever that is. There's another box. Forest gun toy. So it looks like maybe a model you put together or something. Um, probably. We'll check eBay. You never know. Uh, but that's probably not going to be an eBay item. Another dirt bike um, filter. Uh, disinfector, rope. That's another one of those calendars. So we'll probably just let the customers dig at this point, and that's probably what we're going to end up doing with these other pallets. Get the top stuff out, sort it down to be about this high. Oh, another one of these. And then just dig out the eBay stuff and put the pallet out just like this let the customers dig that way we don't have to dig i was stuck to that there i think it's a magnetic clip for a phone some sort of mount it could be a chip clip i guess if you want it to be all right so that is this pallet i hope you enjoyed this video next one i'm thinking if i can squeeze out of here I don't think it makes sense to go through these on a video. Here, I'll unbox this pallet on video. Look, we've got coffee grinder, 432 of them. Pallet unboxed. All right, done. Um, the, the other ones aren't as simple. I might consider going through one of these truck stop pallets because you never know what you might find in there, but I feel like that might be boring because it's not gonna be anything super exciting. These Amazon pallets are a little bit different. It's a lot of bigger stuff, but still a high count pallet. So it might go through one of these on a video. And then we've got three Home Depot pallets yet to go through. Uh, that CVS one may be somewhat interesting. I don't know. What do you guys think? Of course, by the time you're watching this, I'll already have at least one more video filmed. But you never know. I've also got more Dollar General ones over there to go through. So those will be of some interest. So that was an Amazon pallet. I hope you enjoyed this video. We've got lots more coming. I'll see you in the next one.